everyone welcome to this psychology lecture series in this video we are going to talk about indic influences on modern psychology the psychologist cyril burt once summarized that the modern history of psychological science as psychology first lost its soul then its mind until it was finally in danger of losing consciousness altogether the area of transpersonal theory influenced indic traditions on modern psychologists gustav fechner was a physiologist with interests in mystical traditions and it is believed that his interests include indian philosophy franz brentano was a philosopher as well as a teacher of sigmund freud j j clark has said that franz brentano was familiar with indian philosophy as many of his works were inspired by the readings of various indian texts it can be a possibility that the freud's idea of unconsciousness is rooted in indian philosophy j j clark has also noted that canis and von hartmann are pre-freudians who popularized of the notion of the unconscious were influenced by vedanta william james was also familiar with vedanta and other branches of indian philosophy it is evident in his book varieties of religious experience roberto Asagiole was a psychiatrist and founder of the psychotherapeutic technique known as psychosynthesis had the knowledge of the Upanishads the Yoga Sutra and various Buddhist texts J H Schultz was a psychiatrist and in the 1920s he developed his autogenic training it is a fairly widely used system of visualization and relaxation and it was largely derived from yogic practices in 1914 carolyn rice davids published buddhist psychology and claimed that buddhist thought is very largely an inquiry into mind and its activities and has much to teach in the west karl hung engaged in extensive studies of taoism mahayana and vajrayana buddhism and as well as vedanta and the yoga sutras harold covert's book hung and eastern thought highlights the impact of east on hung's life teachings and works in 1918 frederick heller an orientalist has said that zen meditation should be seen as a mental health technique gordon alport was a personality psychologist at harvard he regularly met with swami akilananda of the vedanta society of boston to discuss the upanishads yoga sutras and other indian texts between 1930s and 1940s in the 1950s Michael Murphy visited the Sri Aurobindo ashram and was deeply inspired. He returned to California to start Eslen. It is where the humanistic and transpersonal psychology movements were developed. Also in the 1950s, D.T. Suzuki came from Japan to California, which led to a dramatic increase in American interest in Zen Buddhism. In 1955 Hubert Benoit a French psychiatrist wrote on psychoanalysis and zen in the 1960s many asian teachers became popular in the west including swami sachitananda kirpal singh nahana ponika thera swami muktananda per velayat khan and many others in 1960 
Eric Fromm wrote Psychoanalysis and Zen Buddhism. In 1965, Medrad Bose, a psychiatrist, visited India to study yoga and was deeply impressed and on his return to Europe wrote on yoga and psychotherapy. Humanistic psychologists were also influenced with the Eastern thoughts. Abraham Maslow referred to Vedanta in his writings on beings versus doing. Carl Rogers was highly influenced by Taoism. In 1977, Daniel Goleman wrote The Varieties of Meditative Experience after his visit to India where he studied about Hindu and Buddhist meditation. John Kabat-Zinn used Buddhist meditation to treat pain in over 10,000 patients at Massachusetts Medical Center. And also in 1977, Ken Wilber published his first book, The Spectrum of Consciousness. Also in the same year, Elmer and Alice Green published Beyond Biofeedback in which they described their groundbreaking studies of Swami Rama's ability to control parts of his nervous system which were previously thought to be beyond control of mind. In 1983, Renat Pelletier published Toward a Science of Consciousness. It very well summarized the integration of Indian ideas and modern science including not just psychology but neuroscience, quantum physics and other disciplines. In 1990, Crook and Fontana published a Buddhist influences on modern psychology. In 1991, Robert Thurman along with Dalai Lama and scientists from several disciplines including neuroscience, psychology, biology convened the first of several mind science conferences at Harvard. I hope you like these videos. Please share these videos with everyone who is preparing for this exam. Thank you.